वेस 105 श्री विष्णु सहस्त्र नाम स्तोत्र यज्ञब्रुत यज्ञकृत यज्ञि यज्ञभुक यज्ञ साधना यज्ञांतकृत यज्ञकुश्यम अन्नमन्नाता ये वचा यज्ञब्रुत यज्ञकृत यज्ञि यज्ञभुक यज्ञ साधना यज्ञांतकृत यज्ञकुश्यम अन्नम अन्नाद एवचा यज्ञभ्रुत means upholder of sacrifice यज्ञकृत the creator of sacrifices यज्ञि master or controller of sacrifices यज्ञभुक enjoyer of the offerings made in the sacrifices यज्ञसाधनाह he is the personification of the sacrifice, which is the means to salvation. Yagnantakrit, giver of the fruit of sacrifice at the end of the sacrifice or yagna. Yagnagushyam, he is the secret embedded in performance of the sacrifice. Annam, the food. All resources which are required for beings to exist. Annada, eater of the food or resources. That means he is the experiencer through the jivas. Yagna Brut, upholder of sacrifice, he is a ruler of the yagnas. He is the one who helps us to conclude successfully all the sacrifices that is a sacrifice which actually means all our good dedicated selfless acts of service for the betterment for the benefit of the community as a whole and not to serve our own narrow self-interest Mahavishnu is always available always ready to ensure success of all such noble efforts. Mahavishnu, apart from being a of sacrifice, he is himself is the creator of the sacrifice. Yagna Krit means creator of the sacrifice or the performer of a sacrifice. The same term can also mean one who destroys the sacrifices. It connotes the exact opposite meaning. That means, as in one sense, he is a performer of the yagnas of the good people. On the other, it also means he is the one who destroys the sacrifices of the evil-minded people. The term yagna connotes all noble and divine actions of service and love undertaken in a pure sense of dedication selflessness and joy. So a sacrifice performed by evil-minded, narrow-minded, selfish people is not an yagna in a proper sense. It is nothing but a perversion, distortion of the noble concept of yagna. The Lord issued forth from the creation itself as an act of yagna and in the, in the end he must also undertake the total dissolution of this very yagna. He, the Supreme, is also called Yagni. He is a master of sacrifices. Master of sacrifices, he is the one constant enjoyer of the perpetual yagnas, perpetual sacrifices. In all noble yagnas, because every act is centered and dedicated to Supreme. Here Supreme means he is represented by the society or the community itself in general. So he is described as master of the sacrifices. Taitriya Upanishad say proclaims Yagno Vai Vishnu Hu. The form of the Yagna itself is Mahavishnu. So the master of sacrifices is also 
the enjoyer of the sacrifices. Yagna book. Yagna book means enjoyer of the sacrifices. That means he is the one who accepts all the offerings which are made into the sacrificial fire during the yagna. Though the invocation may be addressed to any of the deities in total devotion and joy, but ultimately it goes to the same supreme being because he is the one receiver of all that is offered for all the deities who are invoked by different people in different persons for whatever purpose ultimately they are all different forms different manifestations of the same supreme being so mahavishnu as a supreme being is the enjoyer of all sacrifices because forms of all deities are his only so he is called yagna book now as he is a personification of the sacrifice he is the best means to salvation so he becomes yagna sadhanaha means to salvation yagna sadhana means he is a personification of the sacrifice itself he is a means to liberation he is a means to salvation so he is the one who fulfills all the yagnas it is by his grace only all noble endeavors which are undertaken by good people in an honest and true sincere attitude all these will gain spectacular success only by his supreme grace now all the sacrificial acts which are beneficial to the community as a whole it helps the yajwa the person performing the yagna to attain purity of the heart atma shuddhi he will be able to cultivate the satvika pravritti in him satvika pravritti is enhanced his rajoguna and tamoguna are controlled ultimately this leads to bhagavat bhakti total pure devotion in the supreme which is the gateway for liberation mahavishnu is a giver of the fruit of sacrifice yagna antakrut yagna antakrut he is a giver of the fruit of sacrifice he is the one who performs the last act in all the yagnas the final act in a yagna is known as purna ahuti that means total offerings where when the supreme is reverentially sincerely earnestly invoked without this final prayer ritual no yagna is ever complete so mahavishnu is therefore considered to be the form of purna ahuti also in the sense that when total surrender of all vehicles and their actions is accomplished the transcendental experience of the supreme self alone will come to manifest in all its divine splendor yagnanta the word yagnanta means end of the yagna or last part of the yagna it also interpreted differently it is different interpreted as anta or fruit of the yagna not as it is interpreted not as the last item in the yagna but as the fruit result of the yagna because result and fruit comes at the very end on successful completion of any activity accordingly the supreme by whatever name called is the one who gives away the fruits for all dedicated selfless acts of love and service the supreme appears like the secret of the sacrifice yagna guhyam yagna guhyam secret actually secret means profound truth profound truth this is called secret because it is very much within us but we remain oblivious and ignorance of its presence the supreme is nowhere else 
the supreme is present within ourselves within the a pure heart he is very much there but i am not able to find out that i am not able to it is it is hidden from me the maya covers our agnana avidya comes in the way of my comprehending the supreme within me so that's why it is called secret guhyam guhyam guhyataram guhyatamam these are the words used in shrimad bhagavad gita also the self is the most noble truth to be sought through offerings of all dravya means objects into fire fire means actually consciousness and where is the fire kunda it is our own body that means in our own body in our own consciousness we make offering of all the resources which we have this is the true yagna this kind of a subjective yagna not the objective yagna which we see outside the subjective yagna this is called gnana yagna knowledge yagna bhagavad gita lord sri krishna says this is the highest form of yagna is the gnana yagna it is also called in vedas as a brahma yagna what a beautiful names are used for this the supreme who is of the form of sacrifice is the food that is the nourishment for all the beings so is called annam annam means the food actually it is brahman brahman himself brahman itself has manifested as food and what is food food are the sense objects which are consumed by the sense organs food is not only solid food and liquid food which are we take through our mouth no any object any sense object for any sense organ is a food for instance the objects forms and colors which we see around us are the food for the eyes the sounds which we hear are the food for the ears the smells the scents the perfumes these are the food for the nose so that way the air the breeze this is food for the skin these are the foods and and everything else is food for the mind mind is occupying so use as a well one who eats the whole universe at the time of dissolution is the supreme at that time he is the one in whom the entire world gets absorbed that is what is called a mahapralaya and it is similar to the individual world in our own life our own sphere daily life every day the dreams get dissolved in our sleep so the one in whom all alone the world of names and forms can remain in their seat form is the supreme self mahavishnu or ishvara the supreme is the one he is the form of the food he is also the consumer of food annadaha annada means eater of food one who eat the food that is what we say food does not denote only the objective world objective world is nothing but a projection on the supreme as a substratum but food actually means the individuality or the ego which is experiencing that is the one which is actually the eater the self functioning through this equipment is the jeevatma as a jeevatma as the individual to each of us the supreme is experiencing the world thus the self is both the food that is annam the what we see around us the objects the entire world its physical world which we see around us that the supreme and the person enjoying the objects is also the supreme annadaha so it is what we say the experiencer and the experience both are the supreme annam annada evacha bols that means he is both the supreme both the food and eater of the food with this you can conclude this verse om asato ma sadgamaya tamaso ma 
Jyotir Gamaya Mrutyorma Amrutam Gamaya Om Shanti Shanti Shanti